Thank you very much and good morning everybody. So again, today we're talking about Judoka, which comes from um, the Toyota production system school of thought or, you know, the more traditional lean methodologies. We're going to go into what it is and explain the components. So you can see here on the agenda, um, it's going to be a fairly quick presentation at 30 minutes is our time today, but we'll talk about what it means to automate processes. I'm going to introduce something called the continuum of automation to kind of orient ourselves. And then you can kind of see the rest of the topics. We'll talk about Judoka, we'll talk about how it works, and we'll talk about uh, true automation before we do some summary. And also for today's presentation, given the format, we're going to loop through the content and then we'll hold questions till the end. Uh, did I do the wrong? Oh, yep, that's right. Okay, so let's talk about automating processes because there, it, automation has become a very muddy word in the marketplace. And even when we talk about process, a lot of people are referring to different things. So on this slide, what you see is a very basic process diagram in the format that I prefer, where you have actions and you have decisions. And when we talk about automating processes, we're talking about not just making people do things uh, with machines or like what used to be done with people is now done with machines. A lot of people, when they refer to automation, that's what they're thinking in their mind. They're thinking about people being replaced by robots or people being replaced by software or activities transitioning in that way. But when we talk about automating uh, processes, at least in the, in the process science school of thought, we're talking about um, really understanding and structuring decision criteria. That's actually the, the root or the nature of automation. So when you're looking at this diagram in front of us, you can see some arrows pointing to decision-making um, points. Automation is nothing more than reducing the cost of making decisions and processes. And you can see at the bottom here with the goal to replace more costly decisions with less costly decisions. Now, on, oh, in most cases, technology-driven decision-making is your lowest cost, which is why when people are talking about automating, they're talking about let's actually get machines in here to do what used to be done by a higher cost resource. But in, in, my, in my definition of automation, uh, you know, you can also automate something by taking it from an executive and putting it to a junior analyst if you have the right decision criteria because it means what you've done is you've successfully structured a higher level skill set or judgment-based decision logic down to a lower cost resource. That's just one step away from eventually putting it into software or putting it into robotics, but, but ultimately you can't avoid the process of understanding the underlying process design, understanding where the decisions are, because in the decision making is where the automation opportunities are, and then structuring it to be mutually exclusive criteria, collectively exhaustive criteria. You see that NECI acronym, that's the mutually exclusive, collectively exhaustive, um, and that's how you break down all process into bite-sized chunks that can then be automated. So, so this could be a 30-minute talk itself. Um, we can, we can uh, open this up for questions towards the end, but I'm going to go ahead and move on from here. What I really want everyone to take away from this is that automation is at the process design level. It's understanding decisions and where they appear in your processes and managing them down to lower cost resources and ultimately technology eventually. That's what automation is, what it means to automate a process. So then when we go on to, let's think about any process in business or any process in, in the world really that you could think of, um, there, there exists a continuum of automation. And you can see that I've, I've kind of visualized that here. But unless you have a process that's completely performed by a robot or, or a machine versus completely performed by a human, it's going to be experiencing some degree of partial automation, especially in this day and age where there's not that many things that are purely one or the other anymore, especially with the rise of digitization and just technology um, in general. And what you're talking about is, again, if you look at the left side of the continuum, 0% automation would be something that you, you do the, a human does the entire process from end to end. This would be manual human labor, things like that. And then at the other end, you've got a process that's so well known, you've got technology that handles it entirely from end to end, including when things go, you know, proverbially wrong or in quotations wrong or like things don't go as planned or it's not the happy path, the technology can handle that too. So it, it would be handling every single instance and alternative path that a process could generate. That would be considered true automation or zero human effort involved in the process at all. Um, that's still pretty rare today 
and we'll talk about that um, a little farther on as we go. But Judoka, to try to kind of segue into it, Judoka operates within the area of partial automation and helps to move process automation forward on the continuum. So if you follow that red arrow, you can see that depending on your perspective, at that 50% point, you've got a process that theoretically 50% of it still could be moved to technology or 50% of it could be moved back to a human employee. And again, you always are managing that balance in your, in your process management efforts by what is the optimized cost structure? How do I form a process that over time is going to be the most efficient, meaning I get the most value out of that process for the least cost? And sometimes that's not going to be all machines or all humans or the combination you think. Sometimes it can be complicated and non-intuitive. But generally, when we talk about Jadoka and we're going to talk about, you know, the continuum of automation, the entire market's trending toward more automation. So taking processes wherever they fall in this continuum and moving them more towards an automated state because that typically equates to less cost or a lower cost structure. So a quick question here, can really complex decisions be automated? And the answer is yes, at least in, in, the, in the opinion from the speaker today, me. Nothing is too complicated to be automated and decisions must be identified and broken down into MISI criteria in order to automate complex processes. So why I'm reiterating this here after the continuum conversation is that in theory, every process can move towards a state of true automation. There's never a point where you're at 20% automation and one person and you could say, well, this can't go further. Now, the one thing you have to consider is it's a matter of ROI. It's a matter of is the investment in understanding the process logic at the nuance required for automation going to yield returns based on what the process is doing. So it's, 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 a, it's a very practical consideration, but I want, what I want you guys to all know is that it's important to grasp in theory that everything can be fully automated. Even the most complex processes or, you know, what is a snap second judgment from a very experienced human being can be decomposed into hundreds of decision criteria into cascading decision trees that could be extremely complicated. And, and to make that one decision, it might take an analyst a month worth of business analysis to break that down appropriately, but it can be done. And you have to understand from a, from a theoretical base, everything can be automated. It's just cost prohibitive uh, based on kind of where we are with analysis techniques and technology in most practical contexts. But, but the reason this is, again, important is on the continuum, you got to think wherever you are, you can always be moving towards more automation. It's about justifying whether that makes sense or not for your business. So now let's get into what Judoka is you know, from, a, from a definition standpoint. It roughly translates to intelligent automation from the original Toyota production system. And it was kind of first invented in the loom industry that Toyota was running back in the late 1800s, so well before Toyota was a car company and they were more like a, a textiles magnate. And in any process where partial automation is present. And Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that last clip. My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year. But if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over 1,000 hours of on-demand career development, covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app, as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants, all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of the great IT professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.